Okay, I'm going to try to show you guys uh, what I see in the mirror when you're coming up behind me. I saw a couple of sleds behind me quite a ways, but they haven't caught up yet. So I'll try to keep my eyes open. Oh, there they are. So here, take a look. Since there's a parallel trail here, generally most of the guys will go around me on that. And I don't have to stop. But I'm not sure if these guys are going to do that or not. I may have to stop and let them go around. Which is what I'll do here in just a minute as soon as I get in the open. Alright, I'll stop right here and let them go around. So this part of the trail has an oil well road that goes right along beside it, though I haven't seen them grade that in a couple of years, so uh, maybe that well's not being used right now, I don't know. We do have to venture out on it on this corner just before we make our turn. Well, I'll sweep this wide, try to make it nice and flat for y'all. But if you come around at 50 miles an hour with your track spinning, it'll only last until you get here. If you can see this, this was just groomed and it's totally tore up right down the center. Well, I don't know if he was spinning through there, I would say he probably was. I don't think I've groomed here this year, or, or I haven't taken any. I don't think I've taken any pictures grooming here this year. So, this is the approach to One Way Hill. We call it One Way Hill because it's too steep to come up the backside, although it has been done. But uh, at least once the uh, groomer tractor got stuck coming up the hill, and so we don't. We don't come up the hill anymore, we just go one way. Therefore, it's called One Way Hill. Because you don't groom up from One Way Hill.
has a Beach Boy song, I think. Hmm. Modified somewhat. Anyway, sorry about that. You probably can't see it, but right now I'm climbing a small hill. And at a certain point, I'll go over the crest. Sure is beautiful out here. Northern Michigan, I love it, man. Don't have the traffic, don't have all the people. Oh, on the weekends we got quite a few, but they're up here to enjoy the outdoors, just like us. Okay, you can see the crest right there. And it didn't look like a steep hill. It just looks like a little tiny hill. But wait till you get to the top. And then, ooh, I still can't see the trail. I can't see the trail, I can't see the trail. Oh, there it is. And now we're going down. I got to pull the throttle back here, folks. Okay, I'm not all down yet, but that's the really steep spot right there. Then there's a second hill that's similar to that, but not quite as bad. Or as good, depending on how you want to look at it. I'm always concerned about uh, meeting a snowmobile on that hill because it would be very tough for them to turn the snowmobile around or back up or anything because it is so steep and there's no way I'm going to be able to back back up. Okay, we're pretty much at the bottom. On camera I'm sure it doesn't appear to be much but in real life it can be exciting. I just keep the camera on here for a little bit so you can see the next hill. Like I say, it's not uh, as dramatic as that one, so usually I don't even realize I've hit it until I'm on my way down. I had my car out here one year looking for morales, and boy, you can sure tell with the car in the middle of the spring, climbing up that hill, you knew you were doing something. It ain't Kentucky though, for you that live down there. Your hills we'd call mountains. I got a family cemetery down there that I drove up to one day and about halfway up I said to myself, I shouldn't have done this. There's no way I could back down this. And if something happens and I don't make it to the top, I'm in trouble, but I made it. Okay, so here's the crest of hill number two. There we go. So yeah, this is a pretty spectacular hill also. Beautiful country. just a couple miles from Manistee River Road and that which means uh, oh I don't know maybe we're four miles or less from the junction of 679 and 79 where I'll turn south hey Francis looks good buddy 
But Francis worked this corner out. I'm sure it was a mess. So this is 679 at the junction of 79. So my partner took a right here and uh, oops, just noticed I don't have my wallet in my pocket. Hope that's not a problem. And he took 679 and went up to Blue Bear. I'll go left here and take it back down to uh, M72 at Grayling. Well, this is the first time I've been out of the tractor, so my wallet's either sitting in there on the seat or it's still in my pickup truck. It's always scary when you reach in your back pocket and your wallet's not there. See how everything looks back here? Yeah, a little bit too much snow back here. Not getting very much up here. So. Tractor's dirty. Alrighty, we get going again. Yep, don't see my wallet. I found it. It was beside the seat. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's snowing. Which is a good thing. <laughs> That's what we need. The trail's actually pretty brown right now, but... Uh... I just came through and groomed this, and now the snow on it makes it look nice and white. But you can see the brown behind me. I don't know how well that will show up in the camera. Oops, building up snow. I think my hydraulics are drifting. I think I've got it adjusted just right, and the next thing I know, I'm all clogged up with snow. I think she's moving now. Nope, not much. Snow's kind of wet right now. That's kind of what's part of what's going on. But I think my hydraulics are drifting. That's the only thing I can figure. I should be able to set that and it should hold. Try to watch in my mirror, but there you can see what I can see. Everything looks good, but then I turn back there and look, and it'll be clogged up a little bit right in the very back, and it just takes it then a few seconds before it becomes extremely clogged, and I'm not pulling tons of snow with me. Remember guys, stop for these stop signs. Somebody could be coming along at a high rate of speed, not stopping for the other stop sign. And you could really get hurt bad. Not much protection on a snowmobile. It's not like a car with seat belts and airbags and so on. It's more like a motorcycle. Getting close to Grayling here, and uh, interesting, we go right alongside the Asabo River, the main branch 
but it's very small here, and it's small enough that uh, and not moving enough water that it actually freezes over. So I was over back here the other day and it was frozen over. So I'll show you that when we get up there. I see lots of deer track here. For some reason the deer like it close to town. I think actually this area we're in right now is an area where you can't hunt. Although hunting season's over right now anyway. Because this is uh, January the 23rd. 2024. We're expecting some uh, warm weather the rest of the week. But it is Michigan, so anything can happen. It'll be freezing every night, but it could warm up to close to 40 during the day, and if it does, it won't be good for the trails. Actually, they're suggesting we could possibly get some rain. But we'll see. I'll report one way or the other. Whether we uh, we get some more snow, you'll see me doing some more grooming. If we don't, I'll let you know why we're not grooming and uh, what happened. Now, over here to the left of the Sabo River, you can see it's open there a little bit. And then it's frozen here. And that ice is probably, could be quite a bit of ways above the water underneath of it. So that's not safe to walk on for sure. But that's the main branch of the Osabo. What a beautiful spot here, man. I mean, of course you got the road in your way, but if you live in that house right there. So the river meanders around and causes the road to meander around. And here's the bridge. River turns south again, goes and crosses 72, and then crosses uh, Old 27, and you're at where all the uh, liveries are for the canoe, the canoe liveries and such. So hey, we're getting some nice snow here right now. I can't say that it's building a lot, but it looks pretty. We're approaching the back side of the airport, which is kind of bittersweet for me since I sold my airplane a little over a year ago. After flying for oh, gee, almost 50 years. Of course, I could always fly somebody else's airplane if they'd let me, but uh, I haven't been looking into that and trying to do that. I'm happy. As an old man here, I had my flying, enjoyed it, and uh, living a good life. There's supposed to be a stop sign. Well, there is a stop sign for this, but it's kind of turned sideways and hard to read. But you got to stop for the railroad track. Look both ways. So it wouldn't be much flying today. Francis has already been here. He's ahead of me. It's 
Started out around 10 a.m. this morning from the barn. Actually started out from the house this morning around 8.30. It's now 14.37, which is 2.37. I expect by 3.30 I'll be heading for home and uh, by 4 o'clock I'll be home. I'm sure my doggies are there waiting for me and 4 o'clock just happens to be feeding time. So they'll be happy about that. Plus uh, this morning when I came into town I went and bought some dog food at TSC and got them some treats at the uh, supermarket, family fair. I'm trying to remember what it used to, the name of it used to be. All you folks who live up here in Grayling know. But being that I'm from downstate and I've only been up here about uh, 10 years now, <laughs> and I'm old, I have a hard time remembering what it used to be. I always enjoy it when I see a train here. I've only seen one train when I was out grilling and didn't have my camera ready. But I can tell it's been here. You know how? I can see its tracks. Yeah. All right, that's a grandpa drill. Actually started doing these YouTube videos for my grandkids. So, grandpa jokes are very appropriate. This is what we like to see. We like to see snow and it's snowing. I'll give you some shots when I get back to the barn, but for now I want to say thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. It uh, really is important. Give me that old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. And it lets YouTube know that people are watching my videos and enjoying them. And it lets them, uh, gives them the idea that they might share this with other viewers who would like the same kind of content and the more viewers I get the more likely I am to uh, get reimbursed by YouTube for some of my expenses which would be nice I'd love to get some more equipment and one of the things I want to get next is a, uh, a, a microphone so that uh, it's not just the camera picking up my voice that I have a microphone on me and I'd like to get another camera because presently I only have one camera and it's about three years old now. If something happens to it, I'm pretty much finished. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, like I say, I'll give you a little ending there when we get back to the barn. But God bless. Get out here, enjoy these trails, and be safe whatever you do. at the barn. Time to fuel her up. Got lots of paperwork to do. I'm gonna clean the tractor up a little bit before I go home. Should hold take
stick about 30 gallons. warm boots in case I needed them but since I was not walking around I just wore my slip-on tennies but those are here in case I had a breakdown and had to go walking around out in the snow Okay, 25.5. 